now uh, let's uh, go to the front end I'm going to create an index page here where I which I can uh, load it directly and uh, get uh, uh, the login screen okay so I am the giving the file name as index.jsp and clicking finish so it will create a JSP file here and it's giving me an error super okay it is uh, because uh, no don't mind that it's uh, my eclipse error okay now I'm giving uh, a small in inside a small I'm going to create a small uh, form here which is actually a login uh, form so giving it in center tag now giving in a small uh, login here and uh, I'm creating a text box here input type uh, text and uh, finish it off okay I have uh, given two text boxes which is uh, the username and enter password and a submit button so we have to do some more modification here let's try running this for the first time and let's see how uh, it looks first so to run this just right click on the index page and uh, go on to uh, run as and uh, should be in server and just click uh, run on server and we are going to use apache tomcat uh, have a tomcat uh, 9 here click next and uh, my installation directory he is uh, in my my computer and d drive here it is my Apache Tomcat 9 is there. just click OK and uh, just click finish okay and uh, it's running here let's uh, wait for the first uh, startup of our project yes uh, the project has been loaded now let me copy the URL link here and go into my Chrome and paste it here and just press enter here it is the two text boxes is uh, created with username and password if I'm clicking submit nothing will, nothing will happen because we have not created a form there let's go for create of that so uh, let me do a small modification here now I'm giving a small form here just give a form and uh, finish that form in here okay now in the web content i am going to create a folder here i am just giving the folder name as a profile and inside the profile i am giving it a controller and uh, a view part here uh, better always uh, go inside the folder and uh, give a structure for all all your project because it will be good for identifying your uh, project completely and if there is any any error somewhere it, it will be easy to track for you also and inside uh, the controller I'm going to create a, a new uh, JSP file and uh, I'm giving it as a sign in controller sign in controller okay dot JSP fine so what next is we have to receive the variables which we have submitting from uh, we are submitting from here to this uh, controller okay so we, I'm going to create a bean class for that the bean class is actually a class which is uh, which is holding all the variables which we are we are uh, using in the front end okay so I'm going to create an uh, bean class in uh, a new package I'm going to create a new package uh, bean and uh, inside this i'm going to create a uh, login bean okay so login bean uh, will have uh, the variables which we want to uh, modify or even all the manipulation which we want to save in the sessions will uh, keep in the bean class okay so we are uh, saving in bean class so i'm going to create a private variable uh, three private variable according to the user information here so I, I need the username and password from here okay so from uh, in the login bean i am creating to a private string variable 
uh, username and uh, private uh, string uh, password okay so I have uh, created uh, two variables here according to uh, the user input which we are giving now I want to put uh, setters and getters for this one so to generate it go to source generate getters and setters select both two or just click select all and press ok ok so the getters and setters for this has been created now inside uh, this sign in controller we can uh, just give one uh, in two lines we can uh, receive any number of variables from uh, the page which we are submitting to the uh, sign in controller i'll show you that so uh, in the sign in controller just use the jsp tag use bean so it will be like uh, jsp uh, colon use bean id equals uh, i'll explain what this is and class equals okay so just use me uh, use the use bean uh, tag here and uh, one more uh, tag is a JSP uh, set property I'll explain what this is actually and uh, yes now this is actually a tag from JSP to create an object of any class here so I'm going to create an object of my login login bean okay now I'm uh, copying the name of my login bean here and in the class i'm just pasting it and just press control space to get uh, the whole path of the no it's not getting so if i am pressing control space it should automatically get me the login bean path here it is not getting because i guess it is because of this error here this error a will be we can solve this error by adding the jar of a uh, servlet we will try that one so going to my jar location this uh, the jar uh, let me copy this uh, java x servlet jar and come back here and uh, just paste it in our library folder i hope if i am saving this again there will be gone you can see here there is gone okay uh, it is showing a warning here it is uh, unknown tag okay we have done a mistake the use bin u should be small and the bean b should be big one so let me copy all these and paste it here now yes now it's an error here um, uh, let me give the complete path so it's package uh, bean dot it will be like uh, bean dot login bean and the id is the object name actually i'll show you what it is and i have set the property as star and uh, name as uh, obj login so what will happen now is if you are submitting uh, a form from the index bean uh, to the sign in controller it will set all the uh, all the variables which are present uh, same as in the login bean okay so i'm just trying to print out the username and password here let's try see that so it's like uh, system dot out dot print ln i'm just printing the username dot the and same way it's uh, get uh, password okay so i'm just printing that in my console here let's try running this now so uh, going back to my index page i am going to do a small modification here i am going to just align this one giving a break here so it will be in two lines it won't be in one line okay let's uh, see here now i am giving the input text value name as uh, username and uh, the password as uh, type password name as the password okay so it will submit uh, the uh, variable here as username and password to the form action so i am putting the action from index i am going to profile controller sign in controller okay so just give it as like profile uh, slash uh, controller slash uh, sign in controller okay okay it should work now now let's uh, uh, restart our server here so just right click on the index and just click run as and run on server and just okay our project has been started let me copy this link and go into our chrome and uh, just paste the link there
okay you can see here uh, we have modified our login page here now i am giving the username as uh, genu and the password i am giving as 123456 if i am submitting this one uh, it should take me to the login controller you can see the link changing here or what yeah see here the link has been changed and i am passing the username and password here and i'm printing it in the console okay so as you can see here i can see the username and password here it is because we have not specified our submit method so if i am doing it as submit method post method post and uh, let me go back refresh this one now i'm giving a separate username and password here and just submitting it again now you can see here the username and password is gone from here but in my console i can see here the new username and password so our basic step uh, to take the value from the user has been completed here so we will go move further to get uh, inside uh, uh, go into the database and take the values from uh, the